Kia ora, good evening everybody, good evening. Uh, this is the enemy sessions resumed, it's number nine, number nine, number nine, number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Uh, today number nine. is number nine. November the 30th, 2011. Number nine, number nine, number nine. Yeah, I see a sentence coming up. This is very interesting for me. The superhuman environment of information, planet is teach machine, causes supernatural programming, colon, invites us to recall an earlier satellite that announced the reprogramming of nature. <laughs> He's calling the star of Bethlehem, the star of Beth, as an earlier satellite. Very interesting. And that always evokes... Um, he says in uh, McLean's magazine, December 67, uh, an article about Christmas, uh, he says, uh, maybe the star of Bethlehem we will see in the future will be man-made. So isn't that interesting? That's the first time. There's actually stuff in this paragraph that I've never seen him develop, but I've seen him just in passing. Like the next word, the incarnation, as a new medium conveyed a new message. In 1983, when I met Nelson Thal, as he got curious about me, he said, uh, he knew I sort of knew a lot about McLuhan. One day he just said, okay, Bob, what does the medium as the message mean? And I said something like, uh, the medium as the message means the incarnation, blah, blah, blah. And I said, I used the word the incarnation. And he was floored by that. He'd never heard anybody bring that in. And this is the first time I've ever seen him use it the way I was using it. So... Uh, that's uh, this is the confirmation of what I intuitive one must say when you talk about the meaning of message. So he's saying the incarnation as a new medium conveyed a new message. Um, see, the incarnation is a new medium. What's that? Is that the electric second coming? Okay, so the age of electric or all info at once is the age of the breakthrough of depth involvement. It retribalizes re man in the image of the family. Uh, C, old areas new to the backward. The electric environment spells power, just as the old civilized environment of visual detachment and specialism spelled weakness and alienation. So he's talking about the rise of uh, third world imagery, the native aboriginal images, you know, dancing with the wolves, it appears to have power. Right? Because they're all out packed out and they resonate with the uh, superhuman electric extension. All there is new to the backward. I'm not sure if that makes sense in way to the backward. The electric. Oh, wait, wait. To the backward, the electric environment spells power. Yeah, yes. the electric. Yes. They, they, they're more. They're able to temporarily, uh, in the later phase of the analog media, before you get to um, 1974 and the post-tactile environment, when you still have the tactile, the, uh, the, just like the Germans and Japanese and Italians felt powerful in the 30s, the third world cultures begin to feel powerful. The backward, even the fourth world cultures think that they are, uh, they got a handle on what's happening. They don't, but they feel power.